So the High Vision Video Cloud includes a number of components. Uh, one of those is content delivery. Um, another component is a video content management system that provides both on-demand asset management as well as live streaming, as well as analytics, which we can talk a bit more about in a minute. One of the challenges our customers have is not having... Um, you know, not necessarily being able to create a, a player landing site very easily for their live streams. You know, you, know, you have a live stream in, in you know, two days and you quickly need a player page for your live stream with chat functionality and things like this. So High Vision Video Cloud also provides this player landing page kind of system. And one other thing is live cloud transcoding. Anytime you're streaming from a location where you don't have enough uplink for you know, flash and HLS streams, multiple bit rates, then we provide a live cloud transcoding capability as well as part of High Vision Video Cloud. And this allows you to send you know, one high quality stream from your premise up to a cloud transcoder, and then it's gonna create the multiple bit rates and, the multi and package it for flash and HLS, and then deliver that to our CDN. So the analytics in High Vision Video Cloud, I think is, is really unique in that we're actually collecting analytics inside the, the Flash and HTML player itself. A lot of systems are collecting analytics using uh, CDN log files, um, and maybe you're having to get data you know, 24 hours after an event happened. What, what we're doing is the, the player itself is constantly feeding data back into the system. You know, when the, when the viewer hits start, how long did it take the video to start? What bit rates are being watched? What kind of buffering is the viewer having? These types of things are being fed directly from the, uh, the player into the system. So it's uh, so the nice thing about this is it's real time. You know, every you know every two seconds or whatever data is coming right into the system, and then you can look at it real time. There's a couple different types of analytics that we that we're collecting. One type is is really looking at the quality of the experience the viewers having. Uh, you know, so what's the average bit rate being streamed around the world? What are the um, you know what kind of video startup problems are they having? What kind of buffering issues are there? So that's, that's the viewer experience. Then the, the other thing, the other type of analytics we're looking at is the, you know, the content owner wants to know who's watching, you know, which of my on-demand uh, media assets are being watched most, um, where are people watching from, if it's a live event, how many peak viewers did I have during the live event, uh, you know, what cities are people in, maybe, you know, where are people located, what, uh, you know, what platforms are they on? Are they on Flash or HTML5 platforms? What operating systems are they looking at? What browsers are they using? Um, so there's lots of different uh, you know, types of data that, that helps the, the, the content owner know how receptive the audience is to, you know, to the, the, the on-demand content or the live content. And then, of course, you can make business decisions based on that you know, later.